Hi everyone! In this tutorial, you will be able to learn how to create a new course in Moodle and how to set up the settings of the course. If you are a course creator in the Moodle site, you may just replace it from the URL, you may just replace the slash my to slash course and then press enter and you will be automatically directed to the manage courses page so here you will be able to see the different categories that have been created in this Moodle site so you need to choose or select the category where your course belong for example I'm going to create Ma uh, mathematics course so I'll need to click on the mathematics and then in this page I will be able to create or add a new course so just click add a new course button and now this is the settings page so as you can see um, you can scroll down and you will see all the settings so I'm gonna scroll up and if you notice there's a expand all here on the up on the upper right side you can click it so it will be changed to collapsed all so that means that all the settings at the bottom are now on a collapsed form so when you visit through the settings you don't need to click on the section again just like this one in order for you to see what's in the what are the fields that need needs to be filled out so now we're going to fill out the form here so first is the course full name you need to enter the the full name of the course for example it's all about differential equations and then the short course name for example it's DE101 and the course category is the category that I have selected a while ago which is the mathematics the course visibility um, there are two options hide and show so my intention for this course is for my participants to be able to see the course so I'll be um, selecting show so when is the time are you going to select hide well you can hide the course if for example you are still developing the course materials and you are just preparing the course and you don't want your students to see the course so if you want to prevent them from seeing it you just click the hide so in my case I'll just select show and then for the course start date you can select when your course will be opened so if for example you have selected a later a later date so that means um, the students will not be able to see it today or before the current the date that you have selected so they will only see the course um, during the time uh, the date on what you have selected here and you can also select the course end date so when the course will be closed so the students will not be able to see it in the dashboard anymore as their current course but they can see it in the past course so you may also disable if you want the course to be open all the time so just uncheck the enable box so for the course ID number um, it is not necessary for you to fill this out so you can leave it as is or blank so when is the time that you use the course ID number? So 
if for example you have a system that you want to integrate into your Moodle course so that's the time uh, you can use the course ID as a reference to the integrated system then going on um, here is the description section which is the course summary usually in this section this is where you put the description or the summary of the course including the learning outcomes or the lear learning objectives here in the course image you can just you know drag and drop the course image here or click this and you are you'll be able to choose the file so the file should be an image like um an extension of png J, jpeg or gif and it will serve as a thumbnail into your course and you will be able to see that on your dashboard then for the course format so there are moodle has different course format there's a single activity format which allows you to to select what kind of activity do you want your course be like for example if your course is intended for uh, an FAQ or a Q&A then you will select forum or if your course is intended for an examination or assessment then you may select the quiz tool so for the social format um, if you'd like your course to be something like a, a frequently asked questions or FAQ then you can select the social format and the most used formats for um, the real you know uh, if you want to give lessons to your students like in a in a classroom environment you can choose either the topics format or the weekly format so um, the weekly format is the course page is organized into weekly sections which the first week is starting on the course start date while the topics format is the course page is organized in topic sections so um, even if it's the, the, the default names are the topic one topic two but you will still be able to you know um, customize the topic name and even on the weekly format so we will see that later then after that um, the number of section by default is four so the section is like um, how many topics will you have in one semester for example or in one year or how many weeks will you be able to teach this course so we can actually set it to four right now because later on if we want to add another section we will still be able to add it um, in the course page so right now we'll just select the what is the default next we have the hidden sections so in hidden sections there are two options hidden sections are shown in collapsed form or hidden sections are completely invisible well you can hide the section if you are not yet finished creating the content and uh, or the assessment or the lesson itself so you have the option to hide the section so if you hide the section um, if you select the sections are shown in collapsed form the students will be able to see that there are still sections that they still need to finish but they are hidden so if it is hidden students will not be able to access it and the second option is hidden sections are completely invisible this means that students will not be able to see if there are coming sections that they need to take 
Next is the course layout. For the course layout, there are also two options. Show all sections on one page and show one section per page. So I'll just select the first one. And in the appearance, um, the force language, so do not force. By default, it's English. And if you want to choose English, and later on, if for example, um, you have other languages that you want to install in your language pack, um, it will be shown here. Next is the number of announcements. In the course, there are announcements. So by default, it's five. So just leave it as is, or you may select um, you know, up to 10 or less than five. For the show, show grade book to students, so this is by default set to yes. But of course, for me, I want uh, my students to show uh, their grade book. Next is show activity reports. I'll set this to yes so that I can see the report. If my students are finished on the activities that I have given them as a teacher. And for the files and uploads section, maximum upload size in my uh, Moodle site, it's 20 MB. I have increased it to 20 MB. So if you want to choose um, less than 20 MB, so you can do so by selecting here. And for the completion tracking, enable completion tracking, yes. So the completion tracking, um, the system will be able to track whether your students are complete on a particular activity or not. So you'll be able to learn that later on as we go on to the discussion of um, Moodle. And then there are groups um, in the Moodle course. Uh, you are allowed to create groups for your students. And uh, for role renaming, um, this is just a uh, role renaming. If you want, for example, uh, the word for teacher instead of teacher, instructor. So instruct, the teacher word will be replaced to instructor. So that's for the, uh, the use, that will be used in the whole wide course. All right, um, it is also better to tag or provide tags for your course courses. So for example, this is math, um, differential equations, or differential or equations, so that when you search for your course, you'll be able to easily um easily search it and then after that you can click save and return to course so after saving um, click save and return to course you will be able to access your course now and this is your course thank you